Uh, now the big news. Uh, so Best Buy, according to the Digital Bits, is exiting the physical media business for good in 2024. Uh, They say from industry sources, confirming with multiple sources, Best Buy plans to exit the physical media business for good, possibly as soon as the end of quarter one in 2024. And this includes not just their in-store Blu-ray DVD 4K sales, which they've been phasing out at many stores for a long time now, but full online sales as well. That means no more Best Buy exclusive Steelbook titles, no more titles from Best Buy, period, at all. Uh, They say the fact that Best Buy is discontinuing physical media sales and the retail location should come as no surprise. Uh, But I I, like I do understand it shouldn't come as no surprise. But the fact that they would discontinue all online sales does come as somewhat of a surprise, though maybe it shouldn't. They said that they've noted in recent months that Paramount has quietly shifted their Blu-ray and 4K Steelbook exclusive titles that normally would have been released to just at Blu-ray to Amazon instead. I don't think that's true. I think they've mostly been doing wide releases from Paramount. Uh, It seems very likely that other studios will follow Paramount's lead in the months ahead. So that's why this is a terrible thing. Uh, Competition is always a good thing. Um, If we get down to there's only Amazon releasing physical media, we are all screwed. Uh, Because Amazon can charge whatever they want. You're talking about for the studio releases? Uh, for anything if they phase out well, where nobody else boutique, well you always have the boutique labels at least not if you take it for granted and people aren't supporting them directly yeah i so i messaged you and i know we disagreed so my thoughts on the best buy thing i just hate best buy exclusives because they don't treat them well at all uh, and so you're they, happy amazon's gonna get them because amazon no. treats them better no, their customer service with Best Buy is shit, though. Like it's it's terrible, and um, I I just I, I'm sick and tired of having to go to Best Buy to get exclusives. I I really don't like Best Buy or Amazon, but it's like when it's an exclusive to Best Buy, you got one option and it's Best Buy. It's just frustrating. Like I had to go, so I returned my Halloween trilogy set that I bought yesterday because it was damaged, big ass dent, looked like somebody took a knife to it. And then the next one came damaged and it's just frustrating, you know? And, and then they put one a scream three on the shelf. I was showing my buddy the other day, the thing was like bent in half, dude. And they, they put it on the shelf. It's like, just don't even sell that. Somebody's going to grab that. It's not right. Like, why are of you, even, it's not right. why are you even going to sell that? It's bent. It's not like it's a spine slash and you didn't notice it or something like that. That shit's bent in half and you got it on this, on the shelf. Either way, any store exiting physical media is a bad thing for all of us that are into physical media, period. Um, Whether this makes Walmart get exclusive steelbooks, Amazon get exclusive steelbooks, it doesn't matter. Um, The biggest thing is that somebody is going to be not selling physical media anymore, and that makes it less competitive, which is bad for everybody that wants to buy stuff, period. It's not a good thing. And it's not like Amazon is going to have incentive to be better with customer service or pricing or packaging. It's not like Walmart is going to do anything better. I honestly, I know you're not going to agree with this. I trust Amazon more than I trust Best Buy at this point. Um, Because Best Buy is charging fucking $41.99 for Steelbooks now. Disney Best Buy doesn't set those prices, though. I don't understand why people keep saying Best Buy is charging. They're only charging wholesale prices, or they're charging what they have to just over wholesale prices. Disney is the one that is stepping up the pricing. No matter where you go, it's going to cost more. But I mean, even I feel like they're just charging like last Best Buy year, is not last, charging. But last year it would all their steel book prices never reached over $34.99. Now you're getting upwards of $38.99, $39.99, $41.99. Yeah, that's not Best Buy's fault. It yeah. is uh, you know, it a dollar of that might be best, but I'm not going to say they're not doing anything. But the big thing is that we're supposedly in the middle of this giant inflation and corporations everywhere are jacking up prices and reporting record profits. You can chalk all that up to corporate greed. It has nothing to do with Best Buy just saying suddenly it's seven dollars more. sibby has got my back in the chat. <laughs> He said they can discount them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they get permission to sell things for cheaper too. Yeah. Uh, the other big thing, though, is 
people don't understand that Amazon's uh, sales that are happening, those only happen because they're matching other retailers' sales. I, Amazon... I, I know that. Like a lot of the Screen Factory stuff, Aero Video, Kino Lorber, I buy directly from the label themselves during the sales. I, I know Aero, or I'm sorry, Amazon basically price matches criterion sale i go to barnes and noble anytime a, a label runs a sale and arrow amazon's matching it and people are like just go through amazon blah, blah, blah. i always support the label directly <laughs> too many people are buying this stuff at freaking amazon that's for sure i only buy from amazon if it's not a if it's a studio release that isn't like a Best Buy exclusive. If it's an if it's a boutique label, I'm not going. More than likely, I'm not going through Amazon. I will order from Diabolic or Orbit. I've been ordering a lot from Orbit now. They've kind of become my go-to. Um, I've tried Diabolic. I had good luck with them for one time. I haven't ordered from Grindhouse in a while, but Orbit's become like my go-to as far as ordering stuff goes. That's a good place. Uh, DL wants to point out, hey, Bob, why is Lionsgate stuff $21.99? It's not Best Buy doing you a favor. They are charging less than Disney are for their steelbooks. That proves it right there. Yeah, I love Lionsgate for that. Um, the, the other big thing that people need to realize through all of this is that it doesn't help to have any less retailers doing this because no matter what, it makes the accessibility for the general public shrink. And there's a lot of people that are saying, good, Best Buy is going to go out of business. I got news for you. Best Buy has actually been increasing sales over the last two years overall. They're I'm not idiot. going out of business. Oh, okay. But they, like, they genuinely, I was having this conversation with a buddy of mine today. Even their exclusives, though, are they, they're probably not making a killing on them. No, they're not. That's why they're getting rid of physical media because they're not yeah. making money on them. That's what, what was... they're making money on is big appliances. That's and how that's I was why... telling them in phones and everything like that. I was because I yeah. talked to somebody that like phones are where they probably make some of their most money. I was like, yeah, and I was telling him today. I said, look, the movies. That's why they got rid of so many of them. That's why Target doesn't hold them because movies just don't net a huge profit. Even even their exclusives, I can't imagine that they're making a ton of money on and. They're not selling billions of copies of them. They put four, sometimes three on the shelf, and that's it. Yeah. And that's, I mean, it. it's because of the way that people are, uh, you know, treating physical media, first of all. But also, people are just not able to, to sustain if they're not making any money. So I get Best Buy getting out of it. But the people that are celebrating... That is a slap in the face to the physical media industry as a whole. You, you got to realize this is not a good thing, no matter how you look at it. It, it is it is a bad thing through and through. It's going to hurt competition. It will hurt accessibility for general public, and it's going to get worse. Yeah, I I, I mean, I never I read I saw this comment right here, uh, Johnny. Yeah, um, I, I I never really thought of necessarily the whole competitive pricing, and yeah, once again, if. I get it. That and that's part of why Best Buy can necessarily these companies when you're an exclusive retailer so charge what you want because you're the only one that they could get it through. Yep. That's why I'm not a big fan of exclusives in general. Unless it's like a boutique label, that's a different story. But I don't really love exclusives. I don't like having to be limited to only getting it to one place. I I agree as well. I I I've got nothing nothing about that that makes me happy, sure. Yeah, even like exclusive slips from Screen Factory and stuff like that. I get it that that's or exclusive stuff from uh, Arrow Video, for example, because um, I can't so, get the Warriors, the other limited edition or the Tremors one that I want through Orbit. I got to go through Arrow Video. The last thing I want to say here is David Holland saying, yeah, but they still need to price things to sell. Anyone can charge $50 for a Blu-ray, but if no one buys it, then it will self-regulate. That's the other bad side to this that I'm trying to say to everybody is if Amazon jacks up all the prices to $50 and everybody is not selling any physical media, guess what? It goes away. They want physical media to go away. They want to sell you a digital file so that they don't have to use any manpower to send you a disc. They want you to download it and watch it there. They want you to stream it. They want to jack up prices so that you can never afford them. I, That's the I end game for a lot of these studios. I, I don't disagree with that at all. I, I totally agree. I, it, it very well feels like a lot of 
people, studios at least want to see. They, I guess, obviously they're putting it out, but you know they're making money off of it. But it does feel like you get that idea that a lot of studios want it to go everything digital. It's yeah, it's literally what the end game is for all of this. And that's like when uh, Netflix bought out everything that they did and they started with DVDs by mail, they didn't plan on doing that the whole time. That's why it's called Netflix, because they wanted you to stream from day one. How do you feel about boutique labels and where those will be? Or how do you feel like, do you feel like they care a ton or, you know, obviously it's their company. But... Knowing behind the scenes, there are some that look fantastic and that they are genuinely passionate about it. And there are others that don't care as much. And do you think a lot of labels will still be around in four or five, three years from now, four years from now? I think some for sure will be around. And I, I don't think this will ever go away 100%. Yeah. But I don't want it to get so niche that there's only a thousand people in the world that buy this. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of your chat, and I think you just mentioned it too, though. If it does get to a point where it's just too expensive, I mean, you look at the prey though, that was $41.99 and it still sold really well, um, sold out. But I do feel like eventually you will get to a point, and like you said with Amazon, if it gets too expensive, people will just say, I can't do this anymore. Like, I cannot afford that. Like, there's just, and I will get to that point, right? Like, where I just say, I can't do this. I, I just can't pay $40. I didn't want to do it for the prey, you know, but. I want streaming stuff to get physical releases and I like steel books, but I will also get to that point where I say, look, I got rent. I got bills to pay car payments. I cannot pay $50 for a standard release of something. A lot of us are already at that point and we're not dropping five forty on a Kino sale, Bob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got 40. You know what though? I got 47 movies out of that. That's a good price for five. That's a damn good price. Yeah. I'm not arguing with you. Good yeah. job. Oh, so that was, that was Best Buy. I think we got all of it out there. Hopefully, Bob understands what I'm getting at now. No, and I do, and I appreciate that. And and I'm, you know, it's one of those things like I give my opinion, but I'm willing to listen to people on anything, right? Like, that's one thing I can't stand is when somebody's just they think their opinion is right. You know what I mean? Yep. And that's uh, with movie opinions. That's something that so many people it really bothers me um, when people are like, "You're like that movie's great. You're wrong." And it's just like, why am I not entitled to my own opinion? Completely agree. Completely agree. All right. Just a couple yeah. more left. When do you think it will end? See that magic hands in the chat. He's the one who genuinely, like I, I told him, I was like, dude, where there's smoke, there's fire. I believe it. I believe what I see. Everyone's talking about it. He doesn't think it'll happen though. Doesn't think but what will happen. That it'll, that they'll stop in 2024. I, I genuinely believe it. So I, I personally believe it. Thank you for watching The Disconnected. On the way out, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, that you've liked the video, and that you've copied the link to be able to share with someone else that may appreciate this.